Lesson 5. Adding Menu Items To follow along with this lesson, you will need the project from Win32 Lesson 1. In this lesson, we demonstrate how to add menu items and respond to menu clicks. We begin with our Win32 Lesson 1 project and open the resource file by expanding the Resource Files folder in the Solution Explorer pane, then right-clicking on Win32Lesson1.rc and left-clicking View Code in the submenu. This opens the resource file for editing. In this lesson, we are going to add menu items and code to toggle drawing the line and ellipse that we drew in Win32 Lesson 4. Scroll down the page to the menu section and add the following five lines of code at line 45. The word pop-up designates that we will have a pop-up menu under draw in the menu bar. The begin and end tags designate the start and end of the menu. In between, we can add menu items with titles and IDs. The titles appear as menu items and the IDs are the names that we have designated for integers which are used to identify the menu click events. These ID values still must be assigned. To do that, we need to open the file resource.h in the Solution Explorer pane by right-clicking the file under Header Files and left-clicking Open in the submenu. At line 13 in resource.h, we add these two lines to designate the values that we want to assign to the IDs for the menu items. It is not too important what values we use, as long as we use values that have not been used already. Once we have added these values, we can compile and execute our program and see the menu appear in the window. We can even open the pop-up to see the menu items. However, clicking the menu items does not do anything yet, since we have not yet added the handlers for these messages. To add our message handling code, open the file win32lesson1.cpp in the Solution Explorer pane by right-clicking the file under Source Files and left-clicking Open in the submenu. Now you should see the file's code under the win32lesson1.cpp tab. Our first step is to add two booleans which will be used to toggle the line and ellipse drawing when we select the menu items. At line 8, we add the code for two booleans, draw line and draw ellipse, and initialize them to false. Next, we scroll down to the winproc function and add the handlers for the menu item clicks at line 156. The message handlers consist of one line of code to toggle the boolean value and a call to the invalidate rect function. We need to call the invalidate rect function in order to cause the window to repaint. Finally, we need to add our WM paint handler, so we scroll down a few lines and add this code at line 171. This code is the same drawing code that we used to draw a line in an ellipse in Lesson 4. However, we have added two if statements so that we can toggle the drawing of the line and ellipse. That finishes the coding. If you would like a copy of the project in code, it is available for download at the top of this lesson page on our website soax.net. Now we can compile and execute our program, and we see our application window. If we select Draw and left-click Line, our line gets drawn. If we select it again, it gets erased. We can do the same for the ellipse. Lastly, we can select line and then ellipse and see both. This concludes the lesson.